Hello everyone, my name is Brian and welcome back to another Smite commentary and for today we'll take a look at Izanami. This is the third time I played her today. Um, I really wanted to try her out but I have been struggling to really work well with her. Um, she's an interesting one. So I'll cover her abilities and how she works a little bit and I'll just try to go along from it. We still haven't really figured out or at least I have still haven't really figured out what is the best way to build her um, but we'll get to that in a bit. Okay so she has her basic attacks. As you can see I throw out boomerangs. These boomerangs will hit 50% of your uh, basic damage and will return on hit. This will mean that you will do uh, less damage if you don't get the return hits but you can hit multiple targets at the same time which can be very very powerful especially for the wave clear it can be insanely good for you to um, get this boomerang because you can just throw it through the entire wave and it will return so for wave clear it is a very good ability well it's not really ability it's just the way her basic attacks work so her first ability is an augmentation to her uh, basic she will change her basic, the boomerangs will not pass through anything anymore. It will just be a regular basic um, on a hunter side. It will stop on the first target hit. It will deal the full damage of her basic. Um, so that's very, very good. And she will have increased attack speed. As you can see, I use it now to make sure that I'll deal more damage more quickly to the, to the big minion. To the big large uh, minion buff camp thing and as you can see it returns you see the double damage on the basics so it's an interesting one also your wand provides a little bit bonus damage i think at maximum rank it provides 25 additional bonus damage when you have it activated which can result in a good amount because i think it also increases your attack speed by i think it's 75 percent but not 100% positive about that. It's very good amount. Don't. That's that's what I can tell you, for sure. Her second ability um, is a ghost. You will fire out a ghost thingy. Um, this ghost you will fire through minions. These will hit, um, go through anything. Will slow, and as you can see, already hitting the Anubis. Try to get some enhanced in. Oh, I missed a couple. A couple blocked. That's a bit unfortunate. We are not able to pick him up for the first blood, which is unfortunate. But I guess it's fine for now. Um, it was slow, it has an 18% uh, slow and if you get a kill while the slow is applied to someone or if you kill someone with the ability, the slow will increase in its effectivity so it will have increased slow up to a maximum of 30% which is definitely not a bad slow. Um, I did miss my two unfortunately, if I hit that one I would have gotten the passive already, uh, I, then I would have had 24% slow. And if you get another stack, you will have the 30% slow. So you have ne you need two kills to get the full slow potential on your second ability um, or assist. You also get it on assist, which is definitely not bad. Um, so that's our overall uh, wave clear, to be honest. You wave clear or with your basic attack a lot, um, or you use your two to help you with the wave clear to do it quickly. Um, it is a very good wave clear she has, to be honest. Uh, only um, early on, it's a bit mediocre damage with her uh, basic it's not the most damage you can do to the minions as you can see it returns for um, 47 damage and it goes out for 47 damage or 48 depending on what minion i'm hitting but that is not an awful lot especially if you uh, don't have any items online i mean i have power boots as well Ooh, oh i thought that would have finished him can we get him one basic Yes, one basic is enough. Goes through the tower as well. Um, that's an interesting thing. That's a really odd thing. If you fire straight at the tower, it will only hit the tower once. And it will bounce back immediately. And if you hit it more at the side, it will go through. So it's a bit of an awkward situation when it comes to towers. Um, the best way to get rid of the towers is just to use your one, to be honest. Let's see, can we deal some damage? Silence is already activated. Nice Sanctuary will prevent a lot of the damage. He is probably going to go for me. Let's use a sanctuary. He is not able to execute me because of that. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> he was able to shoot his dragon past my dragon, my uh, Fafnir, and just barely hit me for that little bit of HP I had left. 
I probably should have just backed off. I didn't think he would have been able to pull off a shot like that because, of course, the Fafnir was um, in front of him. Bit unfortunate. Uh, was not a kill that I should have given up. Um, not an awful lot I can do about it now, but oh well. A lesson for later. Okay, your third ability is a bit awkward one, and it's an interesting one at the same time. It is kind of a leap, an underground leap as Hades. Um, you will go to your target location underground. You will go into stealth, so it's a stealth hunter. But um, if you use an ability, if you use a potion, if you use an active, if you get hit for damage, uh, if you're damaged over time, if you're if you have damage over time on you, um, those are all situations where you will get rid uh, of the slow. So the slow is very easily to get rid of. It is a very slow um, escape, in my opinion. Every time I used it today, um, I feel like I've been killed. Half of, half of my deaths were probably when I was trying to use my three, or just after I used my three, because it's not only very obvious where you're going, it's also very slow in going there. So before you actually um, are off and away, you are very likely to already have died. So that makes for some awkward situations, if you ask me. Decent damage with the my one activated. It is a very good ability. Um, I feel like that she has mediocre damage uh, when it's her boomerang. It's quite slow, um, doesn't do insane damage. You are not always guaranteed the return damage as well, which makes for um, interesting situations. The, s the strength of it, of course, is that it can pass through multiple guards. So if you are fighting a group of enemies and you're able to hit multiple of them, then you will deal more damage overall. But uh, I feel like those situations are not very common. So that makes a bit of an awkward guard. I really need to get used to her a little bit more. I haven't played her that much, so I can't give you the best opinion about her. Um, I've tried a couple of attack speed builds. Um, they might work. Your damage is very bad if you just go for an attack speed build. I tried it in Arena where I went for a Ichival uh, Chins into a Frostbound, a Wind Demon and a Poisoned Star. So you will have an insane amount of slow. You will have a very high crit chance with that. Um, you will have just a very good way to kind of lock people down as for slowing them. But I feel like your damage is just almost terrible at that point uh, with that build. So I am not sure yet. Of course, after two matches you can't really write off a build or anything. Of course, you also have to consider what you're against, what is your team, how is the situation every single time. We'll have to see. I will be experimenting more with her. She has an interest. The fact that she has the boomerangs uh, makes her very different from other gods as for builds. Um, I feel like the chins build might e not even be worth it on her because she doesn't get double chins proc. She doesn't get double Ichival proc. She doesn't get uh, executioner uh, double proc. She almost gets no double procs out of her um, boomerang, boomerang effect. So it basically makes her basic attacks worse than any other hunter because she is not always guaranteed to get that um, kind of double hit where the boomerang also return, uh, well, where the boomerang return damage will be applied as well. So it makes for some. It's an interesting guard. I can't say anything else about it for now. Um, her ultimate is a channeling ability. It's a small. Well, it's not small. It's not large. It's an a medium size ability in my opinion um, for the charge up you probably need some slow to set it up properly properly uh, it will deal a very good amount of damage it has high scaling I think it's something like 120% high uh, scaling on it so I feel like building power on her will help a lot with the 2 and the 4 damage um, but other abilities don't do damage that has scaling so that makes things a bit more difficult as for um, how much you get out of it. Of course the basics do get a decent amount for it as well, but you get the point. The ultimate is not only high damage ability though, um, it also provides a silence. The silence is very effective um, when you are dealing with, um, well, mages, or when you are able to sneak up on someone. Use your three, go invisible, sneak up on them, use your two, use your ult, or your ult and your two. Um, 
It's very likely that you're able to confirm it. Loki missed his ultimate. They are going to engage on me. Can I get them off? Let's go invisible. Nice ultimate by the Fafnir. He's actually going to dive. Got the Aquang with his dragon form. And Arachne is able to secure the Loki. Nice. Well done. Um, was was quite risky. I used my Sanctuary quite early because I expected the Loki to ult me immediately. He did afterwards after my uh, Sanctuary was down. But he did miss me so I was able to survive. I think that if he actually hit me then um, I would have died. Probably guaranteed. I feel like her escape is not very reliable. Um, somewhat like uh, Raijin's ult 3 where it was very easily interrupted because it has a long cast time. I feel like she has the same issue with this uh, leap or escape. Um, I feel like it's quite slow in the cast and it's... Um, is quite obvious where you're going. The fact that it's quite obvious where you're going is not something that's bad in my opinion because of course she is going to be stealth. Um, but the fact that it is so slow I feel like she needs a little tweak in that, make it a little bit more faster, makes it um, makes it just a little bit better for her. I feel like if that's um, done that she is just way better balanced. For now I feel like she is... It's She's not insanely strong, she's not very weak uh, but I feel like she could use it to make it a little bit more balanced. That's my opinion. It might change over the course. But I feel like a 3. It just doesn't feel right the way it works. It feels non-reliable. Non um, sometimes I think you're even better off just juking instead of using it. Because you will be stuck on the, some, on the same spot for a little bit. Before you're out. Also a little side note. Um, I have bought a pop filter so I think that will fix the issue where you would hear the crackling sound sometimes um, because I had uh, videos where I well I think almost every video where there was a part where the, it, my, the sound would crackle a uh, little bit of a high-pitched sound which is very annoying and uh, I think it has to do with the fact that my um, my microphone is quite um, sensitive so it will pick up a lot of sound but when I make the P, the T or other loud uh, noises or just sharp noises with high pitch um, it would register that um, and well kinda screw it up. So I think that this will fix it, I hope it will um, yeah I just hope it will fix it but I think that will improve overall um, any higher pitched sounds so this is the first time I tried so if you are pleased by how it sounds now definitely let me know if you think it could have been better or it was better let me know as well so I can get kind of the feeling if it's working or not but it looks like the enemies did surrender um, just for what I wanted to go for this build I wanted to finish it off with some crit I wanted to go first for the wind demon the wind demon will provide 20% crit chance but since I have two blades uh, going to them and coming back on both of them I have 20% crit chance but however they can't crit both so that that's something you have to take into consideration you can only hit you can only crit once with one of your blades um, I'm not sure how it uh, is when you hit for instance an entire minion wave with one blade if it can crit multiple targets, not sure about that just yet. But I do know that it will only crit either on um, the return or just when you throw it out. But both have a 20% chance. So the chance that you crit uh, with Wind Demon is actually 40% when you use her regular basic. Which makes for an interesting thing because you will proc your Wind Demon more often. Making sure that you have the attack speed as well as the movement speed up more often. So that I feel like that's a very good item for her. Um, going Transcendence will give her a lot of power. I went for the um, Asi. I'm not sure if that's a great pickup for her. Because her lifesteal is not the best. She has only 30%, 33% lifesteal for a regular basic. Because she can hit multiple targets. So um, she will get the regular lifesteal. If she, had, if she hit three targets or more with both the ticks, the going through the enemy and coming back. So that lifesteal might not be as effective on her as any other thing. Uh, I just picked up the, uh, the RC for the pen 
as well as some attack speed to make sure that my executioner is more effective as well. You can also just go for um, a low attack speed build where you just rely on your one to kind of burst your enemies. So, so kind of player as an assassin, kind of as a Loki, you go stealth, you go around them, hit with two, two four combo, activate your one, smack them with some high damage uh, basics and kill them. That's an option, but when you do that, you are quite vulnerable because of course you did use your only escape. It has a very long cooldown. It has 20 seconds cooldown uh, at rank 1 up to 16. 16 is still a very long cooldown on a escape for a hunter, so she is quite vulnerable when that's down. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, learn a bit about Izanami. I will take a further look at her, uh, come back to her later when I have played her a little bit more, got a better feeling for her, um, got more Izanamis against me with different builds to kind of get a good feeling what is probably going to work best for her. But I'm really curious to see how she will perform. In my opinion, she's a little bit awkward at first, but I think that she can be very potent, especially with the silence. It's just a very high burst ability. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for all the feedback. If you have any requests, gods, game modes or anything, please let me know. And as always, good luck, have fun and I'll see you guys in the next one.